Hey there, and welcome to the PRISM tutorial. PRISM is a web application that allows for the collaborative interpretation of text. It can be used in the classroom to survey students or demonstrate themes or contested meanings of text. It can also be used for scholarly inquiry, inspiration, and discovery. So to use PRISM, let's get started by clicking on the Create button. On this page, you can copy and paste your text into the text box here. Here I'm going to use a popular song that some of you might know. Now you can enter between one and three facets in the categories box. Here I'm going to use feminist and conformist. So now let's give your prism a title. It should just be the title of the text you're including, and this is what's going to show up in the browse page. So now to fill in the rest of the information, indicate the original author, date, and language of the text. So, in addition to this, you can provide a description that either describes the text or tells the users how to interpret the facets that you've created. You also have the option to make your prism unlisted. This means that it will not show up in the browse page, so make sure to save your link so you can send it to your friends. This is a great feature if you're asking a few friends to take a look at a paper or for a classroom where you want to limit who has access to highlighting your prism. So finally, let's talk about selecting the Creative Commons license. You can use this box to indicate the appropriate copyright or to indicate fair use or public domain for your base text. If you're not sure which to choose, just click on our Terms of Service or the About the License link to learn more. So then when you're ready, click the Create Prism. And now you have a baby prism. Congratulations. You will see that Prism has redirected you to the highlight page. You can also access this page from the Browse page, which might be the more common path for those of you not choosing to create your own prism. To highlight, just choose the highlighters from the right, and you can assign more than one facet category to each word. You can also erase your highlights in case you make a mistake or change your mind. So once you're done, just click Save Highlights. Prism then takes you to the visualization page where you can view the combined interpretation of your text. This particular visualization is not that evocative, because so far there's only one user, me. So let's look at another one where people have already highlighted. So go back to the Browse page. Here you can choose either to highlight or to view the visualization. Let's take a look at a portrait of, a portrait of an artist. This visualization shows you each of the three facets separately. As more users highlight a word for a particular category, the size of the text grows, showing you the most common interpretation. Finally, I want to show you that when you log out and come back to PRISM, you can just go to My Prisms, which will show you both the prisms that you've created and the prisms which you've already highlighted. So that's it. I hope that you've enjoyed this tour of PRISM. Now you can get started playing on your own by highlighting old prisms and creating new ones. So let's see what interpretations surface. Enjoy!